There are over 200 moons in our solar system, yet there is one that has stood out ever since it was discovered in 1610 by Galileo, Europa. Science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke wrote two books about this mysterious moon while Sebastian Cordero's movie Europa Report is set entirely on Europa. What makes this moon so fascinating is that it may be the only place that we know of that is harboring alien life. Europa looks nothing like our moon. The moon we see every night from Earth is bigger than Europa and is a solid body of rock pummeled in by meteoroids, asteroids, and comets. Europa, on the other hand, is a smooth, icy surface that is completely flat with not a single volcano or cliff in sight. What gives this moon its distinctive look are the deep, reddish crevices and cracks that crisscross its entire surface. Alongside the three other Galilean moons, Io, Ganymede, and Callisto, Europa orbits the biggest planet of our solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is located in the outer solar system, which means Europa is cold, with temperatures plummeting down to minus 280 degrees Celsius, or 550 Fahrenheit, in some regions. These hostile temperatures make it hard to believe that there could be any chance of life on Europa. Nevertheless, Europa possesses one of the rarest and hardest things to find in our solar system, liquid water. Liquid water is a sign of life. Water in its various forms can be found throughout the solar system, but liquid water is a rarity. Earth is the only planet that has liquid water on its surface, while traces of it have recently been discovered under the surface of Mars. Europa, on the other hand, has a lot of water. It is estimated that under its layer of ice, there might be twice the amount of liquid water present on Earth, with Europa's average ocean's depth estimated to be at 150 kilometers, compared to Earth's, which averages at a, a mere 4 kilometers. The existence of liquid water on Europa was gradually revealed by a series of space missions spanning decades. Six robotic spacecrafts took photos of the Galilean moon starting in the early 1970s, when Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 flew by Europa. Then, in March 1979, Voyager 1 took high-resolution photos of its surface, followed by Voyager 2 in July 1979. These expeditions revealed that the way the surface cracks had been separated suggested something liquid had flown through, while the lack of craters could be explained by the presence of water erasing them over time. The desire to know more about what lay beneath Europa's surface led to the Galileo mission, which entered orbit around Jupiter in 1995. Though the mission was supposed to cover all four Galilean moons, the photos of Europa were so intriguing that the mission was extended and 12 more flybys were added. The Galileo mission sealed the belief that an ocean lay beneath Europa's icy crust. Aside from water, the two other ingredients needed for life are a source of energy and the right chemical balance. Europa's source of energy might not seem obvious at a glance, being so far away from the Sun, which is our main source of energy on planet Earth. The outer solar system bodies seem like hostile environments for life with their extreme temperatures. But Europa gets its energy from a different source. Its gravitational push and pull with Jupiter, as well as two other Galilean moons, triggers a tidal variation in gravity, which releases heat. And this heat is what prevents Europa's water from freezing. In terms of its chemical ingredients, Europa is believed to be made of components similar to Earth's, such as carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. This ticks the third box for making life possible. So with all three conditions met, it does beg the question, is there life on Europa? To get a clearer answer to this question, more missions to Jupiter and Europa are scheduled in the near future. The next mission to the outer solar system will be the Europa Clipper, which will launch in 2024 and arrive in 2028, followed by JUICE in 2029. One of the main goals of these missions is to establish how thick the ice layer is. Due to its proximity to Jupiter, Europa is extremely radioactive, which makes life on its surface impossible. However, the thick sheet of ice acts as a shield for the ocean underneath, which means life under its surface is possible. So how difficult would it be to laser through the icy crust and have access to Europa's more hospitable inner ocean? It would be difficult, but not impossible. Current estimations are that between 15 to 25 kilometers of granite-like surface would need to be pierced or lasered through to access the ocean beneath. 
When Galileo discovered Europa in 1610, he realized that the universe does not orbit around Earth, a theory which went against the belief of the time that Earth was the center of the world. Fast forward four centuries and our desire to leave Earth to explore the unknown directs our attention once again back to Europa. Colonizing the solar system is an idea that has been explored through science fiction novels like The Sands of Mars by Arthur C. Clarke and the TV show The Expanse. But colonizing planets can be a lot more difficult than their moons. Mars, for instance, would be harder to colonize than its moon Phobos because we would be fighting against its gravity, whereas Phobos has near zero gravity. Similarly, settling a way station underneath Europa's icy crust could be an easier alternative to settling on radioactive Jupiter. With its promises of alien life hidden underneath an icy lair, Europa may hold some of the answers to questions that humanity has posed since its inception. Are we alone in the world, or is there life somewhere out there? A lot of time and research goes into these videos, so if you enjoyed it, why not leave us a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.